In this quick lesson, we'll go through a couple of examples on how to calculate specific gravity using a pycnometer. A pycnometer is a special glass bottle used to determine specific gravity. Recall in our previous lesson, we learned that specific gravity is a ratio comparing the weight of a substance divided by weight of equal volume of water. Pycnometers are generally available for laboratory use in volumes ranging from 1 milliliter to 50 milliliters. As you can see on your screen, we have an example of one that's 1 milliliter and one that's 25 milliliters. With that being said, question one reads, a 50 milliliter pycnometer is found to weigh 120 grams when empty, 171 grams when filled with water, and 160 grams when filled with an unknown substance. Calculate the specific gravity of the unknown liquid. To find out the answer, we first want to find out the weight of the water. And this can be accomplished by subtracting 171 grams, which is the weight of the pycnometer and the water, from the weight when it's empty. So if we subtract these two values, you should end up with 51 grams. That right there is the weight of the water. The same calculation needs to be performed, but with the substance. We're told that 160 grams is the weight, minus 120 of the pycnometer itself, and that gives us an answer of 40, 40 grams. As I mentioned earlier, to calculate the specific gravity, you take the mass of the substance, which is 40 grams, divided by the weight of equal volume of water, which is the 51 grams. Let's use our calculator from here. 40 divided by 51, gives us an answer that is 0 0.7843. Now since both of these values have two significant figures, we'll make sure that our answer is rounded to two significant figures, which is 0 0.78. Now one interesting thing that I discussed in the previous video is that if this value is less than one, then the substance is lighter than water. Therefore, if the two substances are immiscible, it would be a layer on top of water. Whereas if this value were greater than one, then it would be heavier than water and you would see it in the bottom layer. Let's do one more example for good measure. A specific gravity bottle weighs 23.66 grams. When filled with water, it weighs 72.95 grams. When filled with another liquid, it weighs 73.56 grams. What is the specific gravity of the liquid? So. Let's go ahead and subtract 72.95 grams, that's four significant figures, with 23.66 grams. This will give us the weight of the water. 72.95 minus 23.66. The answer is 49.29. So that's the mass of the water. Again, we'll do 73.56 grams, that's the mass with the substance, and the weight of the bottle is 23.66 grams. So let's modify our value here, where it's 73.56. And we end up with 49.9, 49.90 grams. Notice the extra zero that I added to take into account significant figures. Now, I will divide 49.90 by 49.29 grams. So the value on our screen divided by 49.29 and that gives us a value of 1.012. We want this to four significant figures, three digits after the decimal place. One decimal zero one two. Given that this value is greater than one, expect it to be heavier than water. And there you have it two quick examples on how to calculate specific gravity using a pycnometer.